How's it going guys? So right now, as you can see, I am at Selhurst Park, the home of Crystal Palace. And uh, I'm here to speak to a legend, a Crystal Palace legend. He goes by the name of Mark Bright, and here he is. He's just appeared out of nowhere. How's it going, man? Good, Greg. Nice to see you. You looking well? Yeah, I feel well. Good, yeah? Season's upon us. All right, so I want to go on this tour, guys. You ready to take me around? Yeah. Start with some silverware? Why not? Let's go. Tell us a bit about some of the trophies behind us. Well, he's a bear, isn't it? Um, <laughs> that's our probably greatest trophy down there. Okay. That's the Zenith Data. The Zenith Systems Data trophy. We won that '91. Played in the FA Cup final the season before, and all the great and the good in all the world watched the FA, the FA Cup final. That was probably our proudest moment. We've got a couple of playoff trophies. Obviously, playoff trophy down there. Yeah. Playoff trophy here to get mm. into the Premier League. Mm. This probably was before your time and mine. That Real Madrid. Real Madrid came wow. here and played. Wow, it looks very vintage. It's got that antique look to it. It's got, now, 1962. Look how classy it looks. Mm, it does. Yeah, that's, that's about Real Madrid, isn't it? How much do you think? How much do you think these guys will get for it on Antique Roadshow? <laughs> how much? Okay. Loads. <laughs> Loads. So you scored 92 goals for Crystal Palace. Is that correct? League goals, I think they are. Okay, 92 league goals. What? What's? What one stands out for you out of them? I know there's going to be loads because 92 is a lot of goals. Yeah, in the FA Cup semi-final yeah. for Liverpool. Liverpool, like the best team in the, in the league, they won the league. I we played in April mm. and I scored the first goal at the start of the second half. So we went 1-0 down, we came out after the half-time team talk and within like 10 seconds, John Pemberton crossed it, a couple of deflections and I hit it at the back of the net. Wow. That was probably one of the best feelings I've had because you think we're back in the game, yeah. right in front of our crowd, that everyone's jumping going around going mad. Yeah, so that was, that was great. Okay, well Mark Bright, we're going to have a little tour around the stadium, he's going to show us around and let us know more about this amazing place. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so Mark, we're outside. Uh, where have you taken me? I've taken you here, the Homesdale Road. Down okay. On the left-hand side, that's the end that the, the players like to shoot into in the second half, like to kick towards. That's where the Homesdale fanatics are, you know, that's where all the noise comes from, the drum, and all the, the waving of the flags. And this is Park Road as well. Down the bottom is where we stick the away fans. Okay. Down there. So they keep them away from the right, the, the Palace fans. But this is where all the noise comes from. The this is where the, the, the infamous end. ultras yes, play. Yes, the HF, Umsdale Fanatics. Okay. They, they won Fans of the Year two years ago. They are the ones responsible for, for building the atmosphere in the ground. Yeah. Like I said, waving flags, banging drums, jumping up and down, clapping, getting behind the team. Uh, we just saw a local walk past a minute ago. You said yes. he's, a, he's a huge fanatical fan. Yeah. How many of those do you get around here? Do they just casually walk around? Or? Well, it's like any club. You mean, you've got, you've got fans who, are, uh, who live local, some live further afield. Yeah. I met a guy who comes from um, down Dorset or something okay. every home game with an 80 year old guy. He said he's, you know, they used to live in the area, they've moved away, so they come up here. What's nice is every home game is virtually sold out. Like 26, just over 26,000 people oh, in the stadium every home game. Yeah. And that is the beauty of the Premier League. I'm getting kind of chills just even being here. All right, let's move on to the next location and see what we can Come find. on then. <laughs> Watch the road. All right, so we've relocated again. Mark, where are we now? We're in the half weight. Okay. The half weight. I remember the first game I played here was against Ipswich. Yeah. I think it was 6,000 people. Now 26,000. Yeah. The players are lucky because they play in front of a full house. Yeah. It's vibrant and this is beautiful. Really cool. It's got the weight massive. Yeah, uh, as you can see as well on the wall, uh, we've got some murals, haven't we? Tell us a bit about this here, Ian Wright, what Steve Coppel said about him. I played with Ian Wright and Steve Coppel brought us both together. Um, I was at Leicester at the time. He said, if you come and play with we've got a kid, he's from non league, he's enthusiastic, he's incredible. The skill he's got is incredible. He just needs some guidance. Five years of playing together, he left and went to Arsenal, unfortunately, on to win, win trophies, <laughs> play for England. And this is kind of what his Steve Coppel said about him and about Ricky and on his first day at Patsy. Kind, of, kind of displaying his hunger, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And this is uh, before he lost his hair. Every end of the ground is full. So, as you know, when the stadium's full, uh, atmosphere. atmosphere and expectation is high, especially with the club doing what they've done, surviving and finishing halfway up the league. Can yeah. we push on and finish in the top nine? I suppose, the top ten. You guys can do it this season. You're a Spurs yeah. fan. I'm going to be generous. I think you guys could do it this You're season. You're a Spurs fan. You don't care. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's move on. So this is the tunnel. This is where the players walk out yeah. of. Greeted by the fans and the noise and everything that goes with Premier League football. Yeah, I can feel it, man. It's been, it's been a good tour. I'm, I'm happy you've taken me around. I've got a newfound respect for Palace now. Where have we been? The Holmesdale. Yep, Holmesdale. Arthur Waite. Arthur Waite. Trophy room. Trophy room. Tunnel. 
tunnel. There you go, it's all done. So as you can see, Mark Wright's taken me around. I've learned a lot about Crystal Palace. And now I feel like, you know what? Show them a tiny bit of respect. Are they your second club now? I want to go that far. <laughs>